I'm going to study economics at the University of Queensland. I will be studying a Bachelor of Engineering at the University of Queensland. This year I'm studying um, nursing and then uh, in a couple of years after I finish that degree um, I'm on to medicine. I'm trying to get into medicine. I will be studying pharmacy with honours at the University of Queensland. A bachelor of Advanced Finance and Economics at the University of Queensland. A bachelor of Biomedical Science followed with a Doctor of Medicine at UQ. This year I'll be studying a Bachelor of Design majoring in Architecture at the University of Melbourne. I'm studying a Bachelor of Law and Business at QUT. A dual degree in Law and Business at the University of Queensland. This year I'll be studying a Bachelor of Engineering Honours and Business Management at the University of Queensland. A Bachelor of Pharmaceutical Science advanced with honours at Monash University. My approach to senior studies was to always have a balance in my life. I always made sure I had something social on in my life to look forward to when I had those periods just in my room knuckling down. So for my senior studies, I was taking all my notes on OneNote digitally so that I don't lose them. My mindset to my senior years was to just try my hardest and not to put too much pressure on what marks I get. It was just to do my absolute best and put in like maximal effort because it's my final year and I just needed to reach that score at the end. I tried to take a really balanced approach to my senior studies and made sure that I was making equal time for like my sports and extracurriculars, making sure I was keeping up with my friendships but then also still focusing enough time on school. My approach to senior studies was to just give everything a crack and just do the best I could and know that that would be enough in the end. Personally, I found exam day to be the most dreaded day but also a day I look forward to as I went into the exams with the attitude of being confident, knowing that I know what I know and that I'll always come out on the other side. The best way was to plan early and start your preparation early. I treated the exam day as just a normal day. I would get up at the same time and have a really good breakfast. I did a lot of active recall and also a lot of practice papers and also asking teachers any questions that I had. Exams are challenging. My approach was just to ask my teachers and ask people around me and get as much help as I could. Um, coming up to exam period, I tried really hard to plan out my time really well. I found that collaborating with friends was really helpful because you can quiz each other and hold each other accountable. Study techniques that I found helpful were probably flashcards because you can just go over them and memorise them and it has all the key information you need. I think the most helpful study technique was talking about it and discussing it. I did that a lot with my dad. The study technique that I found most helpful was definitely writing summary notes for, for myself based on the different topics and subjects that I had done. The most important thing that I'll take away from my time at St Aidan's is the effect of kindness and compassion. With so many of my teachers, my success was due to just the amount that they cared and being genuine. It's a hundred percent the community. I have loved my time here. It's okay to put yourself out there and to take on um, unknown opportunities and and to try new things. The knowledge that I've gained from my teachers and the experiences I've had. is definitely my friendships with my closest friends and being able to manage my time wisely. The most important thing I'll be taking from St Anne's is my friendships. The most important thing I'll be taking is my really good group of friends, all the memories that we made at St Anne's. An achievement I am proud of is being awarded the Senior Netball Player of the Year my friends that I've made here. I absolutely adore them. When I received my first academic award in year 11, I'd always wanted to get an academic award through my whole schooling career and it felt like a massive goal had just been reached. Um, I would say that I'm really proud of finishing year 12. Um, there are definitely points in the year where it's like the only thing you can think about. Actually getting to know myself and getting to know my passions and my hobbies. Probably the fact that I was able to do five sports for my senior years whilst also maintaining my part-time job outside of school. I'm honestly just proud of finishing year 12. It was a really big journey and I'm proud of myself for pulling through and keeping my efforts going. Becoming a prefect and being able to help the student body.
My biggest supporters in my academic studies were my family and my friends. I loved having my friends there to go through it all with me and it made the stresses of exams a lot easier. My parents, but also my teachers. My parents, uh, I'd come home from the library at 11 and they'd always have food ready for me and I'd just be in the most grumpy mood and they'd always be happy to receive me and um, take care of me. So I'd, I'm endlessly thankful for them. Um, I think my teachers, especially Ms. Lee, Mr. Speranza, um, Ms. Gardner and Mr. Mack, have been really supportive to me. They, as well as my teachers of course, I was very supported by my dad and my mum. They really kept me going. My biggest supporters were my parents who always helped me with proofreading my assignments and helping me study and as well as my friends to lean on because we were all in the same boat. My message to students in the young years of St Aidan's is definitely not letting go of your extracurriculars because even though it might seem like a stressful time in year 12, you'll um, still have so much fun and just remember to kind of live in the moment. I would say when you're picking your subjects, don't shy away from a challenge because you'll get through it and you're probably capable of more than you think. For younger students in St Aidan's, I would definitely recommend them to get out of their comfort zone, try new things and take on new possibilities and new opportunities as those are the very valuable memories they'll take away from St Aidan's later on. My message for students in the younger years would be just to throw yourself into everything. Um, you won't get any, as many opportunities outside of St Aidan's like you do right now and some of the best friends I've made have just been from the extracurricular activities I have done. Really embrace yourself in the St Aidan's community and just give everything a try. Enjoy the younger years at St Aidan's and just enjoy your final year because it goes by really quick and just make the most amazing memories with all your friends.